killed you. I killed you. Oh, curse you, curse you, and those who come with you. to the booty, write this. In this country, we found nothing but mud. Therefore, the illustrious Pasha will have to content himself with the children we've captured. The children are all strong of limb and uh, generally in good health. And with the help of our Lord, we shall certainly succeed in turning them into brave warriors. Oh, stop your kind. You go, cry, baby. We'll make many of you yet. Come on, get in there. Forward! Let's go! Otherwise, your father would say, what kind of a governess are you? A wonderful one. I could never do without you. They're coming, Where are Dennis. you going? Our men are I'll coming. meet our comrades, aren't you? <laughs> There's still time. They've just reached the old weeping willow. Is my sword ready? Yeah, there it is. Ah. Give it here. All right. Seems to be. First, I'll have to try it out on the neck of a Turk. <laughs> <laughs> My husband, just wait till I get my hands on you. You reach! Come on. 
tell me yes. What have I done? If you have something against me, just say so. Uh, I don't love you. Please don't ask. But why? I could make you happier than anyone else. If I succeed your father in this command, you'll live like a princess. No. I wish we could just be good friends, Gaspar. Please understand. <gasps> There's my father. Hey! <laughs> Everything all right here? Everything. Look! Yeah, look at all these wonderful things! <laughs> As you can well see, we've taken a Turk. He was captured by a Lieutenant Ivan, and for a young man fresh out of the Academy of Vienna, that's not bad. Make sure that nothing happens to that Turk. I want you to interrogate him. Judging from his weapons and the cut of his clothes, I would say that these are new Turkish forces. Got him well. I will. Why don't you Stop it! Stop it! Come with me, I must question you. How idiotic to take him alive. He begged me not to kill him. He was wounded. How very thoughtful. What were you going to do? Did you plan to baptize him? And take him back to the court of Vienna? <laughs> <laughs> Bring him along. Go on. Go! Herein lies nectar of the gods. <laughs> he who drinks well, sleeps very well. <laughs> he who sleeps very well, never sins. <laughs> he who never sins, <laughs> flies to paradise. <laughs> and so it is, he who drinks well, Good, 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 good. That's it, that's the way. All the way to the bottom. That's it. Don't no, stop now. Don't no, stop. Have you examined it closely to be sure there are no blood stains on it? No. There's no blood on it. And even if there were, remember that to kill an enemy is not dishonorable, it's an act of justice.
Vesna, you've changed. You're a woman. Time changes everyone. You were a boy when I last saw you. Who knows how many people you've met these past years. Well, was Vienna exciting? Yes, rather exciting. After Vienna, it must be unpleasant to return to these marshes. No, it's not unpleasant. This is the land of my birth and of the people I love. And this is where I want to live, too. I could live anywhere if I were with the one I loved. I hear Gaspar has his eye on you. He's ambitious, you know that. Be careful. I shall, Lieutenant. As soon as she noticed me, she said, I'm yours or no one. So you tell me, what could I do? I had to take her with me. Eh? Why? Don't you believe me? No. Mm. <laughs> you tell him, Miss Turk. Is it true or isn't it? Mm. <laughs> How I envy the birds. They have nothing, and they're happy. I'd give anything to be as happy as they are, and to give happiness to someone. I dream of nothing else. Fasten, if you're willing to. Gasper, I've had nothing but misfortune. I was there when you were born. I'll never forget it. I saw you grow up from nothing, and do you know what I say? One day you'll be as toothless as I am. to my question, Jack. army that each and all of you have seen in your entire lives. An army which will destroy you all and will not stop till it conquers Vienna. Suleiman the Magnificent himself is in command and it is he who will avenge him.
murderers. You won't. They're pouring in by the thousands. Where will we put them all? Who gave you permission to take water to them? For all those people, they must be thirsty. the refugees to enter the fortress. They're exhausted and they need our help. It seems inhuman to leave them outside. Don't you understand? There isn't enough food and water for those of us who will stay here. Or is it your intention to leave with women and babies? What do you say? You know what I mean. There are those men who are courageous only when hiding behind the skirts of ladies. If you continue this way... And if you continue believing you're still in the court of Vienna, one day or another, you will find a knife embedded in your soft heart. Ah, there you are, Bessner. Our young friend Ivan can't seem to forget his life in Vienna, but then those ladies must have impressed him. Tell me, is it true that the women will be leaving with the refugees? It was your father who gave this order. In fact, you'd better get ready because you'll be leaving as soon as it's dark. Understand me, Orlovich. You've known me now for 20 years. We've been through some very difficult times in our lives. You, here at Samograd, and I at Caresta. You know I'm no coward. Yet for us to fight the entire army of the Turks would certainly not have been courageous, but insane when I finally decided to retreat here with Mujeres. I thought it right. Suppose this vast Turkish army comes this way. Samograd is in a good location. Protected by the swamps. Far out of their way. Probably they'll only send a small detachment of soldiers here. And those we can easily take care of. I don't know what to say. When men begin to walk backwards like so many crabs, it's difficult to teach them to move forward again. You think that in my place, you would have remained to fight? I didn't say that, but I only know that I will never abandon my village no matter what happens. Let us in. We must speak to the commander. We won't be taken away from our home. Who are those people out there? Did you really give the order to send us away from here? Yes, I gave the order. There's a possibility we'll be attacked by the Turks. This will hardly be the place for women and children. Don't you agree that my orders are for the best now? You should have thought of that before, Captain Orlovich. When you gave our husbands permission to bring us here. To build our homes around the castle. To give birth, raise families, bury the dead. You are the commander and you may give us orders as you do your soldiers. But like them, we will never leave the fortress. Do you feel this way too? Don't pay attention to them. If you change your orders now, you'll be sending your daughter to her grave. I've decided. Father, my place is with you, no matter what the dangers are. You mustn't say that, Vesna. You don't realize that this is war. War against the Turks. <laughs> What's going on? They've come to parley. What shall we 
we do? We must give them the impression that we're well prepared and strong. They must be convinced that it won't be easy to conquer this fortress. Open the gates for them! His exquisite and exalted lordship, the omnipotent, invincible, and most gracious... Enough, enough, I understand. Now get to the point and tell us exactly why you're here. My lord and sovereign Suleiman the Magnificent is advancing with his great army which will spread throughout the world the glory of the Prophet. In his infinite mercy, he does not wish to destroy you. He simply asks that you turn over to him the keys of the fortress. In return, he will spare your lives and will graciously allow you to keep your rank. His thoughtfulness overwhelms me. But he should take time out in the midst of his great mission to remember even us, who live here almost forgotten in these desolate marshes. I wish I could oblige him with the keys he asks for. But you see, I find that my boots are so deeply embedded in mud that I can't free myself enough to be able to get the keys and turn them over to Suleiman, as he so obviously desires. And therefore, if he really wants them, he must come in person. And if he gets this far, he'll be able to get them himself. <laughs> <laughs> Escape, men!
fall at last. Ibrahim Pasha, my invincible commander. Sit down. Sit here where I can talk to you. Uh, if I could only rest. Problems, so many problems confronting us then. <laughs> Miserable dust. My poor lungs. They're saturated. Naturally, Your Imperial Highness. You have too many people milling around you. Oh, no, not that. You don't intend to annoy me with your usual criticisms about my court. Tell me rather how well we're doing. Get the map. You out. And you. Our columns lie here. And here, and here. The soldiers have performed miracles, and with even shorter rest periods, within two days after having crossed the river, the army will be on higher ground where there is no further any danger of floods, and we shall pass by the side of the Panama marshes, therefore not be hindered by the mud. Mm, well planned. And what is this in the center of the marshes? At that point, there's a small fortress there. And who is defending it at present? Oh, a handful of men, about 2,000, with a mad old captain. Send them an emissary. A sign of my goodwill. Your Imperial Majesty, that has already been done. And how did they receive him? Mm. They proved to be belligerent, eh? And still you expect me to bypass them. Who are these stupid fools who refuse to accept my emissary when I meant to offer my generosity? I will destroy them! Your Highness, I have ordered a strong detachment with cannons to make a deviation and punish the offenders. No. One small detachment is not enough for what I have in mind. I want to crush them with the weight of my whole army. Almighty oh, one, that will not be necessary. With my whole army! Imperial Highness, to lead our whole army into the swamp at this moment, at the very beginning of the rainy season, for a mere handful, a grain of sand. That grain of sand has offended me. They'll learn the power of Suleiman. They'll learn it. I, who have assembled the greatest army the world has ever known. I, who have undertaken the greatest venture ever imagined. And today you ask me, to turn my back on a mere grain of sand? I, Suleiman the Conqueror? No. No. We must destroy them. Even if we reach Vienna a month or a year later than planned. Such is my will, and so it shall be. Your command will be carried out, Your Imperial Highness. I shall give immediate orders to change the course of our march. I myself shall pray to Allah to postpone the rain. Enough! The audience is over! Just a moment. How well are the cannons moving? Slowly. Hurry then. But the mud is getting deeper, sir. Hold the column. Stay away from the water and move along the bank. Very well, sir. Hold! Come on, this way!
Solomon's gone crazy. His whole army's in the swamp. I confess, I don't know what his strategy is, but if we don't get reinforcements soon, we're lost. Fortunately for us, they are in the swamp. Leaves the other road free for reinforcements. Or retreat. Which way are you going to choose? I'd say to move along the center path, which is well hidden, and then through the fern woods. It's by far the safest way, if we're to make it. Of course you'll make it. But be careful of the enemy scouts who may have seeped through. If you are able to guide the army here from Vienna, you will have saved not only us from our predicament, but also the entire European continent, my lad. Once Suleiman gets out of the swamp, no army will stop him. I understand, Captain. Huh? I'm honored by your trust and faith in me. You're the man most suited for this task. We're all counting on you. Good luck. Thank you, Captain. Help from Vienna. It's our it's our only hope, Vesna. I'll return. Oh. I'll return soon. Don't worry. Nothing can happen to me now. Because I love you. that shines in the night. He is favored by Allah. He is the conqueror. Don't go, Eva. I don't want to lose you. You must have faith in me, dear. Your love will guide me. Light shall shine on the earth in eternal glory for his empire and Allah. The fortress is very well defended. I could easily take it in a day if I were only 20 years younger. Don't 
worry about me. Go on. Oh. Come on. Must never lose hope. He'll come back. He'll see. He'll return. worse than fighting. Listen. They're moving. So, man, they look at them. have given us nothing but trouble. I'll give the order to fire. Fire! Fire!
soldiers are retreating. They must have more support from your cannons. But, sir, it's, it's impossible to do any more. Please forgive me, my lord. I'd hope to please you. So many things, bandages and medicines. There are still so many wounded to be treated. Why don't you get my sheets? Make bandages out of them. She's a good soul. There isn't a cloud in sight. Last year at this time, we practically flooded. Rain would drive them out of the marshes. Even without the help of rain, if we are very careful with our supplies, we should be able to hold out until Evan arrives with the reinforcements. We must encourage the men, keep up their morale. That's no problem. The victory's taken care of that. Eh. But the battle isn't over. Our captain. If by chance, Help shouldn't arrive in time. I believe we should have a, an alternate plan. We can't hope to hold them off forever, and we need a way out. Gasper. Are you afraid? I'm not for myself. Yes. You're right, we must make a plan. You rested, dear. You've done more than enough. There is still so much to do, Father. And I couldn't rest knowing there are still wounded to be treated. Wait now. I want you to know that I'm proud of you. It won't be so difficult for you when the reinforcements from Vienna come to our aid. Captain! Another assault!
he's badly wounded, Vesna. She should never have gone out there. Be careful of her now. Easy. Don't worry about me, my child. It's nothing. Nothing serious. Don't be afraid. Everything will be all right. Have faith in your father. He's such an old bear. Imagine never realizing how much I loved him. Are you Sebastian Fonturin? You had best not tire yourself, sir. You don't know him. He's a messenger from the Turkish frontier. Blasted Turks! They spoil everything! I don't care to play any longer. <laughs> this is the messenger who wishes to speak to the Chancellor. Sir, this way, please. Good luck, Ivan. Thank you. With your permission, Your Excellency. Who's he? A messenger from Fort Samograd. This is the seventh day he is asked to be received, Your Grace. Oh, yes, I remember. Your Excellency, with your permission, I should like to protest against all the court formality that has prevented me from seeing you sooner. The message I bring you from the Fortress of Samograd deserves immediate attention. Yes, yes, I already know everything you're going to say. The court plays games, etc., etc. Everyone thinks his own request to be urgent and the only one deserving of the granting of reinforcements. Sir, I'm not asking merely for reinforcements. Suleiman is in the marshes with his entire army. And only you, sir, can give us the possibility... I sympathize with you, young man. You've left your friends there. Probably there's a lovely girl. Now, undoubtedly, you'll come up with many good reasons to expect help from our troops. But what would become of us if we were to send reinforcements everywhere? The bulk of our army stationed here in Vienna, along with all our many other obligations, would be uselessly scattered over the whole of Europe, and our empire, divided, would fall easy prey to Suleiman. With your permission, Excellency, you haven't understood. It is useless. The Defense Council has decided to concentrate our army in Vienna, and if necessary, here is where we'll do battle. You must not be disheartened, my boy. If my memory serves me, most of Fort Samograd is well protected by a vast marsh area. It is veritably impossible to surround it. As a last resort, the defenders of the fortress know the territory well. They can always find a safe way out. Yes, there is always a safe way out. Just as for me, there is a safe way in to give them your negative answer. Thank you for the audience, sir. Just a moment, my boy. Tell me. Tell me, what is your name? Ivan Gregorich. Gregorich. My compliments. I admire your determination. If I'm not mistaken, I knew an officer many years ago whose name was Gregorich. He was one of our most courageous frontier captains. He was my father. He was killed by the Turks 18 years ago. I hardly remember him. Try to understand our position. Perhaps you're too tired. Why not stay on here and just to rest a while? We'll find another officer to take our message to your captain at Fort Samograd. Thank you, Your Excellency. But I cannot accept your kind offer. I have my orders. I must go back to fight. With or without your help. Well, generals, our borders, at least, are well guarded. As long as we have soldiers of that caliber, we in Vienna 
we'll be able peacefully to sleep and drink to his health. Be careful, you're making it all spill on the ground. We can't waste water like that. After ten days of rationing, Please. you should know better. Please listen Little to us. You rich oh, baby send us rain. My oh, Let Lord, mummy's tears oh, Lord. turn to rain. Drive the turks away. We cannot go on this way. We're begging with all our people. All our people. Why are you so quiet and sad again, my lord? You must not think of swamps as something sad. In the midst of them, I found a touch of beauty. Look, I picked this flower for you. Your flower in one hour will be faded. I just can't understand why Suleiman wastes men on this fortress. Not logical. Yes. I have gloomy thoughts. Duty. Politics. War. This is no place for... pleasure. They're waiting for you. Over there, in the tent dance for them. Get up, you lazy good-for-nothings! Get up! Forgive them, my lord, they are not well. How many are there in this condition? About a thousand, sir. Ella is our only master. Master of the soul and body of man. He is the supreme master of life and death. And he has chosen only one man to represent him here on earth. Suleiman, the magnificent, the conqueror, the all-powerful. Let us then kneel before our leader, exterminator of all injustice. Glory be to Suleiman, glory be to Suleiman, glory be to Suleiman, glory be to Suleiman. Ibrahim Pasha, it's days since you last graced me with your presence. I have come, your Imperial Majesty, to speak of serious matters. What is it, Ibrahim Pasha? I feel it my duty to report that our situation grows worse by the day. You brought me nothing but bad news ever since we stopped here. If you have nothing else to tell me, you may leave.
His Majesty. It is imperative I speak. We must get out of the marshes as soon as possible. The men are unhappy and sick. The fever is killing more of them than, than the enemy. How can we go on this way? We have lost over a thousand men in this swamp. And that's not all. Once it begins to rain, we shall be veritably bogged down in the mud. This is becoming too costly a detour. This venture is ridiculous and I don't believe in it. Enough. You presume to defy me, or deluded one. But to weaken our forces, and to what end? You haven't the faintest inkling of what my dream is. Vienna is the beginning. After we have captured it, the Germanic world will be ours, thus fulfilling Islam's greatest dream. We shall strike at the heart of the Occident overthrowing the Holy Roman Empire. Islam's dream will never be realized if you allow yourself to be guided by stubborn pride instead of wisdom. Quiet! How dare you consider this a matter of stubborn pride? Why must I listen to a mere youth who has neither experience nor ability, who doesn't know what it means to command millions and millions of men of different races speaking a babel of tongues? No. No. You've quite overstepped your rights. You've had the audacity to criticize my authority. Now enough. Enough! You want to depose me as the ruler. You've made your last little speech. When you see this cord hanging in your tent, it means you're dead to me. Dead to me. <coughs> Help me. Suleiman is dead. Allah has abandoned us. A curse has fallen on Islam. Quiet, you fool. Quiet, all of you. Stay where you are. Play some music. Play. The dancing girls dance. And don't stop. Suleiman is dead. No one must know until the fortress falls, and tomorrow it must. You and your men. Silence all those in the tent. You understand? Kill all of them. But she's in there. What shall we do with her? You don't want us to. All of them. All of them. Let's go.
make you a wager. If I'm still alive tonight, you'll owe me a drink. I don't care to wager with death, Andre. Why not? Enforcement should be arriving shortly. We must hold them off. As a last resort, we can always retreat into the castle. I'm looking for Gasper. Have you seen him? Sorry, Captain. I haven't seen him all day. Ah. Well, if you see him, send him to me. Very well, Captain. Look at him. He suffers for all of us. Oh, Gaspar, what is it? Have you decided? Please, Gaspar, let's not talk about it now. On the contrary, I think now is the time. Are you still living in the hope that your young man will return from Vienna with help? I'm sorry, Gaspar. I'm not in love with you. I know Ivan will return, but even if he shouldn't, you could never take his place. I'm a good soldier, Vesna, but I am also realistic. Those troops from Vienna will never arrive. We're fighting in vain. Your father will not retreat. You know that means death for all of us. There's no doubt of it. I'm telling you, a live soldier is better than a dead hero. Don't throw your life away. Escape with me. Vesna, I need you. Don't touch me. Vesna. Vesna. No. You listen to me, Vesna. No, get away You've from me. You treated me worse than you would occur. And still, I want you. And I intend to have you. Keep away, I was saving this for myself. But if you don't leave me... Very well. I'll leave. But you'll never see Ivan again. Believe me. Captain, they're holding fine. Fine, fine. How's the fire? Almost under control. Good. Captain, sir. What is it? When I first saw him, Captain, I thought he was killed by the Turks. But then I noticed this dagger. It's Gaspers. by the Turks. But you'll not escape
of the Turks! No! Help me! Don't just stand there! Do something! Help me! Help me, Ivan! Don't! Don't let me die! Don't let me die! Ivan! trying to stop him from escaping. The troops have not arrived from Vienna. There is no rain. Everything has gone wrong. And now this... My major concern is the safety of the children. Although there is no longer hope, I have decided to resist to the end. But can I ask the same of my men? And what about the women and the children? It's too much to ask. If I had made you go sooner, you could have had a guide. But now you must go alone. You mustn't be so concerned about us, Father. The Lord will take care of us. Ivan! that you would return. Captain Orlovich, Lieutenant Ivan Gregorich, regrets to report. His audience with the Grand Chancellor was unsuccessful. Father, he's wounded. It was Gaspar. He attacked me. He was drowned in the quicksand. So there is no help. We've been abandoned. But the fortress of Samograd will resist to the end.
everything. Please let me go. Oh, my dear. We must all fight. No one expects you to fight. I can't let you go. You stay with the women. I can't wait here for them to kill me. many years and I have never asked the impossible. But this time I must demand the supreme sacrifice. The fall of the fortress is inevitable. However, there is a way to ensure safe escape for the women and children. I ask you to join me, to distract the enemy by engaging them in continuous battle to the bitter end. I am sure that God, who has made it possible for us to resist thus far, will concede us enough time to send our children to safety. And one day they shall return to do homage to those of us who stayed behind. This is the hour of decision for each and all of us, my friends. Well then, let's go. What are we waiting for? Captain. Give me a weapon I can fight with! No, Ivan, not you. You have another assignment. You must guide our women and our children safely to Vienna. I want to stay with you, Captain. I would be ashamed to be the only man left alive. It's not a question of your life. It's they who must live to carry on for their fathers and for their homeland. That too is the duty of a soldier. Go, Ivan. It's as though you remained here with us. Mighty one. Your lieutenant wants to know whether he should blow up the castle, your worship. Has the lieutenant given my ultimatum for surrender? Yes, sir. And as their only answer, this is what they sent us. Oh, worshipful sir.
Listen. Baby Yurich. And never forget how your father died to save us. No, Lieutenant. Not that. Give him the respect which is his due as a hero. Well then, finally we can prepare to march on Vienna. The campaign is over. We'll go no further. Turn the troops back. A new Sultan awaits our return. And they are the victors. Yes. Contradictions of war. Victors are often losers. Thank you. 